So you started playing with Blood Knight, or you are wondering if you want to play with the Blood Knight and you don't have any essences and you are looking for a build. Well, I got you covered. This build does not need any essences and it is good enough for open world farming. And the skills we are using is going to be Shadow's Edge. The first one is Shadow's Edge. We barely use this, but we use this to finish off low HP targets. If you leave one enemy behind, you can just use this to use the ranged attack to finish the target off. Now our main mobility ability is Sanguinate. It has 9 seconds cooldown and we get 50% movement speed for 2.5 seconds when we pop this. And if you pop this again, you can dash forward and do some damage to the enemies. Now we are using Whirling Strike as this has the highest damage that you can have on an instant with any skills and it has only 9 seconds cooldown so this is perfect when you don't have any essences yet. Now our second damaging ability is Siphon Blood. This will hit enemies every 0.5 seconds and you will get some life back. The life recovery is not that important but this skill has a pretty average damage. It is Kinda good, because you want to farm and you want to kill everything around you. This will cover you on that area. And because it is a channeling skill, it's not single press use. You can use this on many packs. You can use this on first pack, then second, and even on the third pack. And then you need to wait this to recharge. And our last skill will be Abomination. This has a lengthy cooldown of 20 seconds, but that's why we have some channeling skills in our arsenal. And with this skill, when we don't have anything up anymore, we usually just pop this and then we get another skill set that usually one shots the packs. So you go in with the blood rush to dash to the pack and then you just smash the shattering fist on the pack and the pack should die. If there's anything left, you just use the normal attacks and the normal attacks also do a bit more damage on this form. Now on the set items, we definitely want to have Vitu's Urge just for that abomination to have a bit longer uptime on the abomination. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this works with the abomination, but I it should work. I think it's a buff, but if it doesn't work, you can change this to something else. And then, of course, we are using Gloom Code's price that will give us 15% damage increase for 3 seconds and 22.5 critical hit chance for 3 seconds after dash. And because the dash kill on the abomination has 3 seconds cooldown, we can have this up all the time when we are in the abomination form. We don't get this as much when we are, we are not in the abomination form, but with abomination form this will increase our damage output by a lot. Now I still have some gameplay for you, so I will go on to that.